he's just gonna pop up in my face. I mean, when does that when does that ever happen? Oh, hello Yuri. I was just about to ask, how about you join Super Smash Bros? Yeah, it's the game where everyone from a whole bunch of games join in one game to fight. But who cares? But why? I mean, look at all the people that want you there. And plus the addition that I also did the three other characters. But who cares? Mario says you can't do it anyways. Yes, Mario. He believes you can't do it. Yes, indeed. Well, how about you join Smash now to prove him wrong? Good, then on to the moveset. What if Yuri from Doki Doki Literature Club was in Smash? And finally, take it off the last character I need to do. No more Doki Doki! Until I had to do remakes. Oh, boy. Things we need to know. Lightweight and two jumps. No additional move options. All right. For the jab, we're going to have her do a right foot knife jab since she actually appears to have a knife. Kids, don't bring knives to school. Many reasons why you shouldn't. I don't have any good ones at the moment. Don't bring knives. Okay, her jab would be a rapid knife jab. Her dash attack will have her carry some books, but trips and drops them. The side tail would be an arm slash. It works like the beginning of Fiber Mithra's jab. Up till we have her do a poke upwards with her pencil. The down till we have her do a stab below with her pencil. Now for the side smash, we'll have her smash her book forwards, kind of doing effective damage, more like a spiking damage, but not as much. Not really. No, I don't want to have that. The up smash we have her use a binder with a hook and then swing it upwards. And the down smash, however, spin with the binder. By the way, all these smashes have a bit of end lag, but they all have powerful. They're pretty powerful. Just say that. The neutral era will have her read a poem, and then words appears around her. The side era will have her do a pencil stab sideways. The back era will have her do a knife slash back. Up era will have her do a knife poke up. The down era will have her do a kick down. All right, for a grab, she'll, she'll grab the foe with both hands and punnels with a knee jab. The side throw will have her bash into the foe. The back throw will have her push the foe back. The up throw will have her do a toss up or tosses the foe up. The down throw will have her trip to the foe, but then apologize based on her personality. All right, for the neutral special, this time I did something. A little different from other neutral specials I have done for these Doki Doki characters. Instead of having three options, you have one. So, I did put percentages as there is two possibilities of this move. The most common possibility is she throws a pencil. But, with a 30% chance, she throws a knife. Honestly, the pencil will only do like 3% of damage as the knife does like 12 so knife is pretty effective. These are all projectiles, by the way. And the move will kind of just work like Simon's um, neutral special. The side special will have her wink. Summoning a heart. Anyone into this heart will get paralyzed. For just a few seconds. The act special could have her save the game. Based on the ability that you can save the game in Doki Doki Lurge Club. As it will work in Doki Doki Literature Club, saving your, doing this special was sa saving the spots the, the first time you did it. Then, after clicking up special again, you'll go to that save spot that you created. There, there is a setback to this. There is a cooldown of five seconds. Now, let's change it to ten. Let's make it 
10 seconds. All right. Okay. Good. The down smash, wherever read a po- and down smash can have a read a poem, and then gains a speed boost. Honestly, because I couldn't think of anything else for the down smash. Uh, smash! What the? All right. Now finally getting over that mistake for the down special, which some reason said down smash. The final smash will have her first have a scene, which for some reason she has a pen in her mouth. Or is that a pen? Hmm. And then we have a whole bunch of error signs. Works like this. And then finally ends with an error. Now, if if above 80%, since it is a cutscene, it is on Mac KL. Okay, for the taunts, the first one we have her read a poem, except for nothing will happen, unlike the neutrals here. The second taunt we have her do her usually her look, as we see in Doki Doki Dojo Club, or one of her sprouts, the sprites, whatever you call them. And the third taunt we have her do the lagging glitch thing, as we also see in Doki Doki Dojo Club. The victory, starting with the first one, we have her read a book in her desk and then look surprised. The second one, we have her just smile. And the third one, we have her do the glitch eye effect, but then smiles. Alright, that's it! That's it, no more Doki Doki Lucha Club! Yay! Now what am I going to research for the next 10 hours? Is it too soon to do remakes? I don't know. We do have the Doki Doki Literature Club Plus coming out. But is it really necessary to remake Sayori and... Um... Nasuki? And the update's mainly based on Monica, which I already made, remade. Ah, uh, do I have to do this with the imposter? <laughs> For those of you that didn't know, I remade the imposter twice. Not many know- not many people know this, but the imposter is actually Muset. Four, not twelve. I had to take it down so I can remake it. Wait, why am I spoiling things? Oh no, it's still rolling. The camera's still rolling. But why would I be talking to myself? Ah, oh, whatever. So long.